I'm Lisa from the Bike Barn and I'm going to talk a little bit about some mechanical issues that pertain specifically to indoor winter training. So firstly, hopefully you've taken the time to cover and protect your headset stem area. Um, you can either do this by just putting a towel across there or there are some great products that you can buy that do a nice neat tidy job. I should mention too that <clears throat> the sweat corrosion could be a little bit more prevalent on the tri bikes because you're leaning in a very forward position so the sweat line is right in that area. Some of the other things that you want to check uh, when it comes to spring tune-up time is to make sure that uh, your tire is still good so check for the wear on that, check your brake pads and if you've done a lot of mileage you might want to check your chain. So this is a really good example of what happens with sweat corrosion. Uh, if you take a look down under here, there is definitely the white uh, sweat corrosion happening there. And um, you've got cables and housing completely destroyed. You've even got a little bit of bubbling of the paint on the frame. So this entire front end of the bike is um, completely corroded with sweat and um, all of these really need to be replaced at this point in time. Uh, if you don't, we have seen on race day, um, you know, complete failure of bars. The stem will just completely be so corroded that it just, uh, just falls apart, basically. So in order to get into the headset now to surface it, um, it's probably going to be quite an operation. Uh, Chances are it's going to be pretty seized and um, it, this whole thing could have been avoided if you just regularly maintain your bike, um, just wipe down with a nice damp cloth afterwards uh, or cover it if you're on a trainer, um, washing your bike gently on a regular basis. Um, yeah, you can completely avoid this whole scenario. If your tire is square, doesn't feel nice and round, Kind of like this one here, it's got, it's quite thin in the center and it's very flat, then it's time to take a look at changing your tire. The, the other thing you want to look for are nicks and cuts, little pieces of glass, any little pieces of staples, anything that the tire may have been, anything that the, the tire may have picked up. So another thing to look for uh, is damage to the sidewall of your tire. So if you see, um, little threads hanging down like this. Um, it's starting to delaminate or this one here also has a bulge. So if it had a tube in there um, and fully inflated, it would start to bulge through there. So uh, just make sure that you're checking that on a regular basis. If, by the way, your tire does start to delaminate, that can also lead to uh, high speed wobbles. So when is it time to change your brake pads? These ones here still have a little more life. They're probably about halfway through their lifespan. Um, you definitely want to make sure that they don't get low enough so that obviously the metal isn't hitting the rim. Um, a lot of people will take a look at their brake pads from above. It's really important to take a look at them from the bottom. These ones are actually pretty level, but most of the time brake pads will wear faster on the bottom than on the top. So what you're looking for here is to make sure that the metal shoe, um, this part here of the brake pad, uh, is not getting so close that it's going to contact the metal rim. So as you can see here with these particular pads, they're about halfway through their lifespan. When your chain wears, it's stretching, not only side to side play, but also between each individual link. So some people ask me, well, why don't I just take a link out and it's going to solve the problem? That's not what the problem is. It's how each individual link fits with each individual tooth on the cassette and on the front rings. So when you bring your bike in for a tune-up in the spring, then just ask the mechanic to check the chain and um, they'll be able to put a tool on there, check it a little bit more precisely than just kind of eyeballing it. and. Um, there you go. <laughs> Don't know how to finish that. <laughs> Check out more at bikebarn.ca.